What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 18 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 7 new and 9 updates. And for PC and Mac, we have 1 new and 1 update. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Fiat 682N4. This is by Pepe978. We've talked about this a little bit in Farm Sim News. This is the tipper version of the very recently released and extremely popular 682T2. This is your 682N4. Here we have 179 horsepower, 400 liters of fuel, 37 mile per hour, 11,000 liter capacity, at least to start with, tipper truck. So let's check it out. Main colors through here. We have pastel red. We have blue marine, red flame, mint green, gray, gray fog. I keep wanting to say frog and navy gray. We've going back to the beginning and capacities through here. So we have 11,000 liters. We have 15,000 liters, which has these wooden sides. We also back to 11. So to and fro, whichever one you like. I really like this. I think this looks phenomenal. Those wood paneling they are not going to change either. So depending on whatever color you're using, it's going to stay that wood paneling color. For those of you that have been waiting on it, look and wait no more. Look at, look no more? Yeah, look no more. <laughs> we got the Lone Oak Farmhouse, baby. Yo, can we do this? Can we do this? Does this one work the same way? Line it up straight on. Go over here, line up with this line right there, and then look all the way up and chunk it whoosh baby that's what i'm talking about right there so this is your lone oak farmhouse it's now available for everyone and all platforms everything still functions just like it did on lone oak so you've got all of that hey yeah man here you go now the one thing is we don't have a uh light on the on that so that's interesting but nonetheless of course you got everything upstairs come up here uh, we do have one desk that's missing, so that desk isn't there. Let's see. Let's go down. See if we can get inside the door here. And we stand on top of the bed and get a trigger. You're not tired. All right. I do believe this door opened all the way flat against this wall as well, but you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's come around. That's not it. Is it this? Is this the door downstairs? Nope. That's the kitchen. We had a door downstairs around here, don't we? Let's see. Let's see what we can find. There's the garage. Aha, it's this door. Let's see if we can get lined up just right with it. And downstairs. Yeah, man. So everything still works perfectly. You may find yourself on a map where the water level is a little bit high. Uh, if you go under this, uh, this one right here, you can see how close we actually got to the water line. So yeah. If we would have if we would have lowered this down much more we would definitely have water inside right now but fortunately we don't so that is a good thing unless there you go it's in houses it's gonna cost you 180 grand hey, hey i'm just happy to see this 102 dj lane let's go next up we've got the desk harrow this is a lizard desk harrow is gonna cost you two thousand dollars required power 25 horsepower so not bad at all although it does have a 1.8 meter working width and nine miles per hour or 15 kilometers per hour and we can change the color up we got red green and blue the red looks to be close to a case or a massey ferguson color green is definitely john deere and then the blue I'm not really sure what the blue is would be cool to see multiple colors on here but hey it is what it is this is going to be extremely handy for those of you guys that are doing some smaller maps or maybe you've got a smaller um any <laughs> any field whatsoever this is going to be great for you next up new for all platforms we have the new holland t7 long wheelbase stage 5 this is also known in game as the t7 lwbac if you're curious on what you're looking for through here so we've got quite a few different customization options beautiful tractor just to start with i mean i love new holland anyway so it's really hard to mess one up but yeah this is absolutely gorgeous so starting off we have 225 horsepower 390 liters of fuel 34 miles per hour so a little bit higher top speed on there and i like that rim color we've got standard we've got gray not base game gray but it is gray we've got a cream color gray matte we also have black matte and we go into our base colors your white of course that's going to be your new holland color go with whatever you want through there main colors through here we have blue standard blue matte that's not blue matte that is 
That is blue power. That's what that is. Blue map one. Ooh, we have a pretty blue power. That's like a 38 millionth anniversary. <laughs> like that. We've got the Fiat. Fiat metal. We also have black. Black metal, which is flat black or black matte is what that is. And then <laughs> gold. Love that. We'll leave that on there. Design color. We have design. We've got chrome. And we have gold. I believe that's going to be the grill. Yep, that's the grill. I'm just going to leave that whole thing gold because that looks amazing. Let's uh, let's see. Let's change that to black. There you go. Will Brands through here. We have Trelleborg. We have Michelin. And back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we have Standard. Wide tires. Wides with weights. Standard tires. In Michelin, we have Standard. Wide tires. Wides and weights. And back to Standard again. So not too many wheel options on this one. Design, we have Standard. We have a blue power. And Fiat power. Back to Standard. Another design, we have a standard, we have extension. So this is interesting. So we have, let's see, let's click out and let's go back to standard. So standard extend or standard extension. I'm trying to see if this is changing anything else other than just adding the tips on there. Nope. <laughs> so it actually costs money to remove the wheel arches. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, better lights. So we have much brighter lights and then back to standard again. Interested to see what the difference is between these lights. So we're going to add, let's see, there's that. And then we will take an all black version. There we go for the crazy lights. Let's see which one's which. So for this, we are going to need to take our time and we'll put it at the dead of night at 11 p.m. So, Oh, that's cool. Hey, check that out. All right. So, main lights, rear backup lights, and then brights. So, brights are pretty good. Nothing too crazy there. And then, I feel like they're the same. Yep. Exactly the same. Nothing different there. Unless you put two of them on there. That's not too bad at all. That is... Yo, that looks good. Next new mod for all platforms today is the Valtra T-Series CVT South America. So we did get another T-Series yesterday, but today we get the South American version. Beautiful tractor right here. 195 horsepower, 500 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour max speed. Rim color through here, every color in the rainbow. So everything that you want, regardless of what it is, you can do it. <laughs> can we? Nope, no, nope, I'm not going to do it. I was let's, see, let's turn this into a Valtra. Or a, uh, not Valtra, it is a Valtra. Moving on. Let's let's just keep going. Front weights. We have no front weight. We have a weight holder. We have a 1,050 kilogram front weight. And then no. So you do have options. However, you do not have the option to put a front three point on there. It's pretty standard through the South American and Brazilian versions of tractors. Wheel brands, we have Michelin, Trelleborg, and back to Michelin. Michelin is your default here. And in that Michelin tires, we have a standard wheel weights, sugar cane. Oh, yo, look at that wheelbase, though. Yo, get out. I love it. We've also got that with wheel weights as well. We have rear hubs, rear hubs with weights, rear twins, rear twins with weights. Yep, sticks those weights in there. And back to standard beautiful tires. Man, oh, man. A Trelleborg, we have standard time, weights, sugar cane, sticks that wide wheelbase out, beautiful there, with weights. Then we have a single duel in the back, or a single duel? Single duel in the back with hubs, with weights, duels, duels with weights, and back to standard again. Yo, let's stick this bad boy on there because that looks awesome. Extras, we have no water tank, protection grid, protection grid, and water tank, and back to standard again. Fenders, no. Or yes, those fenders are not extended, by the way, so do keep that in mind. And then engine set up through here. We have a 195 horsepower engine, 210, 230, and a 250 horsepower engine. Our next to last new mod for console players today is something I'm very excited about, the Massey Ferguson 6600 series. This is starting 135 horsepower, 230 liters of fuel at 31 miles per hour. Very standard stuff right through here. Main color? Everything that you're used to seeing from blue. So this is going to be very similar options that you're going to get with the 5600 series. Or 5700 series. Sorry about that. Main color, we have red, black, silver, 
green, and communal. We're going to leave that on red. Rim colors, we have standard, black, cream, white, and communal. I think the white looks pretty good, so we'll leave it on there. And then design color, we've got red, black. These are going to be your grill options, by the way. So there's your red. There is your black, silver, green, and communal. We'll put that on black. It looks pretty good there. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg. We also have Michelin, and Nokian, and Midas tires as well. So all four. And then when Trelleborg, we have a standard wheel weight, wide tires, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, narrow tires, which is going to be very popular, and standard tires. In Michelin, similar story here, standard wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around. In Nokian, we do have the Tractor King tires on here. So we have the Nokian Tractor King. These are brand new uh, as of a couple weeks ago. We also have wheel weights on those. We have rear tools, tools all the way around, and a standard Nokian communal tire as well. And in Midas, we have standard wheel weights, rear twins, twin wheels, and standard tires through there. Tell you what, let's do that. I think that looks pretty, you know what? Nah, put it there. Engine setups through here, we got a couple of them. We got the 6612, which gives you 135 horsepower. We have the 6613, which gives you 145. 6614, which gives you 160. 6615, which gives you 175. And the 6616, which gives you 185 horsepower. So 135, 145, 60, 75, and 185 horsepower engine variants. And you can stick a front loader on here. Beautiful tractor, awesome. Definitely gonna be adding to my personal let's play. And your last new mod for all platforms today. It's actually an update, but this is a brand new version of the map. So we're gonna call it new. This is Bjorn Elm 2K20 by Vector Man. Huge shout out to Vector Man, by the way, for sending me a video of this a couple weeks ago. Very beautiful, very awesome map. And guess what? It's back, baby. Welcome back to Bjorn Elm. Since you left the region to move to Goldcrest Valley, it happened a lot in this picturesque Scandinavian landscape. The farm and the agricultural structure partially deteriorated. Can you imagine the breed life into the region again and provide the residents with the goods? Can you? This is full season supported, console ready, manure system ready as well if you're using that mod on PC. Seasons Mask has been added. They've also added snow roofs, raised the description to 51. Road textures have slightly improved, rebuilt the cow area. Lanes have been redrawn, much new vegetation, bushes, flowers, etc. Added concrete borders to many areas. Rebuilt the garden center area. Added lime station at the garden center area. Port area has been improved. Renamed the delivery spot to Northeast Warehouse. Improved the Northeast Warehouse area and new mod icon. New game save is required if you're playing this on PC. If you're on console, welcome back. This was one of the base game maps in Farming Simulator 15. Actually, the first map that I ever played on on Farming Simulator 15, Farming Simulator period. And this field right here, oh man, did it give me some crap. This map, or this field right here, taught me how to use straw. I think, I think I remember how to use straw. Nonetheless, let's take a look at the PDA. This is Bjornholm. What do we get to start off with? Well, we get a cow area down here. We do get field 23, which includes the spinnery, which is a pretty, pretty large field. And you get your main farm area here, which includes your house, barn, and silo, and you get filled 29 star worth as well. These are pretty cheap fields, 56,000, 84,000, 123, or 132,000. I imagine most everybody is going to be buying these fields up almost right away. You may even sell this area just to buy these three fields because they're all right here with each other. I remember spent hours and hours and hours on this. I had all kinds of crazy stuff on here on FS15 and absolutely loved it. So how's about this? Let's um, let's poke our heads around here a little bit and see what we can find. First, we need to go to the ground and then I want to go in here to player flight mode and we're going to turn that bad boy on so we can fly around and check out the areas around here. So you got all this going on. Of course, here's your silo. Quite a few things have been redone just to make this work right for Farming Simulator 19. Of course, naturally, there's a whole lot of stuff going around. So, it is what it is. This is kind of neat too. You've got <laughs> you've got a building from Felsbrunn and buildings from uh, Ravenport. That's pretty cool. Even those are even though they're uh, placeables. What do we get? What's our what's our primary starting equipment? We get a Fent 500. This is going to give you 150 horsepower. You get the Valtra A114, 110 horsepower on that. 
New Holland TX32. You do get a Kramer. Very cool there. Very awesome to be able to have that. And a truck. So you get five vehicles to start with. Beautiful area through there. You've also got a couple tippers, header, plow, cultivator. Uh, hey, you get a, uh, let's say, cultivator. What is that? A power harrow? Yeah, power harrow. You get a cedar. You get a sprayer, round baler. You've also got a bell spike, bell trailer, and you get a weight, as well as some other little goodies through here as well. One thing, let's see, it looks like you'll be able to start off doing round bells on uh, straw, that kind of thing, but that's about as far as you're going to get with that. Beautiful stuff through here. You do get a nice little garden in here. If you can figure out how to get in there, you might be able to, to do some things with that. And then here is your house. And my question would be, can we? Oh, house tour, baby. Let's go. Turn off the flight mode. Drop me to the ground and bring me in. I want to check this out. What all can we open? Uh, so it goes through there. We get some puppy dogs. What? Look at your puppy puppies. Yeah, man. Going through. Beautiful area around through here. Nice kitchen area. Yo, this would be like a, a nice house in real life. Can we open that up? Nope, that doesn't open up. So, just seems to be fairly one-dimensional. Can't get upstairs. Yeah, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get upstairs. Those uh, windows are hollowed out. So, very cool. Very awesome. Beautiful map. Great to see it back. <laughs> and we even get a plane. What do you think about that? Does that have sound? The plane doesn't have sound. Yes! All right. I love it. My favorite map. Let's go. Making our way into the mod updates for all platforms today. And first, we have the John Deere 4755 4955 by AAA Modding. Hey, this is Changelog version 1.1.1.0. Fix the lights on the US version. So now your lights are all good. We've got an update to the Valzelli Cubex pack, and this is Changelog 2. They've added a new model, which is the Cubex 180 that you see in front of you right now. They've got a new spreading system configuration, which is Spear versus Exact Scatterer, and a new spreading system configuration for water transport as well. So let's take a look at this a little bit since this is a brand new model. Starts off, holds 40,000 liters, requires 120 horsepower, 15 meter spread at seven miles per hour. Rim color, we have every single thing that you can think of. We're gonna change that to white. In our main color through here, again, every color in the game, we'll change it to New Holland Blue, how about that? And then design color, any color you want, we're gonna change it to pink, seeing exactly what changes. Configuration, we have the exact scatterer. We also have the 90 degree right angle, 90 degree left angle, spear, spear plus the exact scatterer. So you have like a double spreader on there and then water transport. So you have a full water transport for this as well. Very, very cool. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg and Michelin and PTO, we have PTO1, PTO2. Beautiful mod. We've got an update to the Fent 900 TMS Vario, and this is going to be version two. They've added optional work light, re or supported realistic cab view mod, and supported the REA, or the realistic mod as well. And an update to Garages by Nismo. This is version 1.001. Two new types have been added. We've got an update to the Case Magnum 8900 series, and this is going to be version 1.001. Fix the center of mass, new wheel configurations and tires. We'll take a look at those. New dirt map, fix the dirty mod compatibility, and the new 18 or 890 loader mount and stow mount as well. So let's take a look. So starting off in Lizard, we have two wheel drive. We have two wheel drive standard, which is going to take away that rear uh, hub on there. We have a two wheel drive standard, which splits them out just a little bit. I like that. Two wheel drive with duels, two wheel drive with standard duels, two wheel drive with standard wider duels. Then we have all wheel drive versions of all of those options as well which is very cool and a michelin very similar stuff through here check that out so splits it out regular re rears <laughs> mega rears and then we've got four wheel drive drive versions of all those as well super awesome great update there design we have no no front fenders or front fenders four wheel drive only sorry weights we have a bracket a couple weights hood guard nothing else through there engine setups those are all about the same um and they are still just as expensive, goodness gracious. And in front loader attached, we have none, stole, and we have the 890 loader as well. 
My question would be, do we have that yet? So they've got the new mounts for it, but I don't believe that they have included it yet. Let's take a look. We'll just kind of jump through here and see if there's anything. Very unlikely, especially when once we get past the seas. Yeah, nothing in here. And an update to the Lemkin Solitaire 12800. This is version 1.001, fixed the foliage bending and added a color selection. Now, main color, well, you can add whatever you like. Unfortunate part is your wheels are still gonna have that blue look on them. They're still gonna be red and you're still gonna have red accents around. So um, that is worth noting. It's still gonna look kind of interesting depending on what color it is. Kloss may be the only one that looks quite right, but you've still got that blue on there, which doesn't look appealing <laughs> to be sure, but it is what it is. And hey, we've got one option, so I'll take it. Speaking of color configurations, the FarmTech Superflex 600 version 1.1 brings us color configuration as well. So main color through it, we have a standard, we have a dark red and a black and design color. We have light blue, standard green, and zinc. Ooh, this looks really good. Yo, bump it up, let's go. We've got an update to the slurry yard by Missy B and this is version 1.1, corrected the daily upkeep. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the egg crate. This is by Foo Farmer and his changelog 1.001. Adjusted the visual so the first egg box shows with any amount of eggs in it and fixed the German translation. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players day. We only got one of them and it's going to be the AGD 4.5. This is a disc harrow, requires 130 horsepower, 4.5 meter working width and nine miles per hour and is absolutely gorgeous. Check this thing out, dude. Main color through here, well, we can do whatever you like. We do have some custom colors on here as well. We have a raw smash. We also have the army green, beautiful color through there. Good, everything else that you want. Would be nice to be able to change that yellow color as well. So we might see something like that in future updates, but for now, Good looking mod, I dig it. At your last mod today, we've got an update to the Lumberjack mod, and this is going to be version 1.2, added stump grinding ability for the chainsaw, making this mod extremely, extremely versatile. You know I'm gonna be downloading it for sure. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you later. Peace!